Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Ellen and welcome to another plant haul. Okay, it has been the worst week generally for the shop. I have had, I don't know how many boxes this week basically be delayed. So what should have been done days ago, I've had to essentially sit around and just wait for stuff to get here in order to be able to even show you guys. So as a result, why is that important? Basically the plants I have to show you today aren't looking their best. And I know you guys know that I'm not super bothered about that anyway. These imports have only been in water 24 hours, so they're basically like fresh, fresh imports. But I have around, let me tell you, six plants, I believe, to show you today. One of them I've had for a long time. One of them is for my personal collection, it's not for the shop. And I think the rest of them are for the shop. So without further ado, I'm going to get straight into it and I'll keep you waiting. So this first plant I'm going to have to read out the name of because I, j I just don't know this name very well. This is not a type of plant that I'm very familiar with. But the first plant I'm going to show you today is the Homolomina. 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 Crinipes. Crinipes? We'll go with that. So this is the plant I'd like to show you. And I know what you're probably going to say. Hey, that looks a lot like an alocasia. Now, I really like these. I'd never heard of them before. Sorry, this isn't the best to show you. I should have really had an outer pot. I have actually potted these up, by the way, they were in water. I potted these up just to literally be able to hold onto them today. So I'm basically not just dangling roots and dripping everywhere. So if I tip this up, you should be able to see what they look like. And honestly, I think these look incredible. This leaf here that I'm showing you at the front, it's so weird. It kind of reminds me of a cross between an alocasia and a gloriosum. You feel me? Have a look at that and tell me what you think. See if I can get it to not focus on my face. Because it loves to focus on my face. There. Look at that. That is just so unusual. Not only that, but it has. I mean, don't know how easily you're going to be able to see. Because again, it's going to want to focus on moi. I just turn this plant around. You should see the stems. They are kind of rough. Like, not quite thorned. But they're very, very rough. And they have a really cool pattern on them. And I just... I I think they're amazing to be honest saw an opportunity and took it and thought i'll get something new in why not why not cause more stress for myself i do a good old head test here you can kind of see the size of it it's very very nice oh by the way if you hear like way more background noise than usual i'm filming today with the unit door open because if i close the unit door it's going to be about 32 degrees and i cannot function under these lights in 32 degrees so if you hear a lot of noise I'm sorry, it's just how it is. So, because this is a new plant that I'm bringing in, obviously I can't really tell you about what it needs, whether it's hardy or not, or anything else. I can just really tell you what I've noticed in the first 24 hours. So basically, the shipment that arrived yesterday was a little bit delayed, and we're having a huge heat wave here in the UK. So, I'm guessing that most of the plants in this box have been subjected to reasonably high temperatures, I would say. So they all came, not wilted, but they all came looking very, very stressed. A lot of the plants that I got in yesterday had yellowing leaves, stuff like that. But these ones, honestly, they've plumped up almost good as new within 24 hours, which is quite interesting. That tells me that basically whatever changes are going to happen to this plant, they're going to happen fast. So they might not ship amazingly. We will have to see, right? Because shipping out from me is different from my, e.g. my supplier shipping to me because they do aggressive root treatments, whereas I don't. So the shipping experience might be a lot better, but I am very impressed with how much this has plumped up. Again, I'll turn it there so you can see. That is the best way I could describe these, though. They are literally like a gloriosum crossed with an alocasia, and I'm so here for it. I didn't know what to think of them, but I'm kind of here for it. What do you think? What do you think of these? Tell me what you think. Or have you had them before? Am I like really late to the party here? Well, I know they're not new, if you know what I mean, but I don't know how many people keep these. It looks like there's like a pink flush that comes in on leaves a little bit like a gloriosum would as well, which makes it even more cool. I feel like if you like alocasia and you like gloriosum, you are going to like this. Let me know what you think of this. I'll stand back a little bit more so you get the full idea of this plant. It's absolutely rock solid, by the way, I should mention that. Like way more solid than an alocasia. This is one sturdy ass plant. Let me tell you that. Oh, that is beautiful. So the next plant I have to show you luckily is considerably smaller. It's a little bit drippy, but I'm sure we'll be fine. I've wanted this plant for a while. I've wanted it since I did a certain, well, research for a certain video that occurred. Did it occur last year or this year? I'm not sure. But basically, I did a Syngonium rare plant index some time ago, and one of these plants was in the list. I can't remember what category it was in, but I saw it and I really, really wanted it. And it was between this one and another one. And I think I said, you know what, if I found this other version, then I would go for it. And it's taken me actually quite some time, guys, to find these plants. I'm not saying they're like super, super duper rare, but it seems like they're going for a little bit of money and not a lot of people have them. 
which I guess does mean it's quite rare commercially. This here is so cute. Can you see? I'm going to have to rotate it a little bit. This here is the Syngonium Milk Confetti. I'm dripping everywhere. It's so pretty. Look at this. I'll see if I can get right in. I waste no time. Look at that. Could we just please acknowledge how pretty that is? I've got a couple of these in. This is probably the best one I could show you because again, this shipment really, really suffered. What I can tell you is this Syngonium has plumped right up from yesterday, but all Syngoniums that I've ever had in do the same thing. They're absolutely fantastic shippers. If they look wilted on arrival, stick them in water. They will be absolutely fine. That's what's happened here. This hasn't even had 24 hours, actually. I'm saying these plants have had 24 hours. They totally haven't. They've had maybe 16, something like that. They haven't had a ton, actually. I will be able to offer these in the future, but obviously it's it's not going to be anytime soon because one, these are tiny. I would sell something larger than this anyway. Um, and two, that they are looking a little bit shit. If I can show you this leaf here, uh, that's unfurling. A little bit of damage on here. You're really only looking at this leaf that's good, but obviously at least it's enough to show you what the plant is. This is Syngonium Milk Confetti. You can get Syngonium Confetti. And I think the only main difference, really, that I can tell anyway, is that confetti is more green than this one. So this one comes off more frosted and literally milky. That's probably why it's called Milk Confetti. The confetti just seems to be a little bit more lime green. And I remember saying in that video, yo, if I found the milk, I'll take the milk. If not, I'll take the confetti. So I did hold out and obviously I've been able to find these. I'm super, super happy about it and I cannot wait to get them going and propagating because honestly, if you know me, you'll know I love Syngonium. I just think they're brilliant. I think they're a great entry plant for whether you want to collect rare stuff or not, or you just want to have an amazing colorful plant collection, Syngonium or your boy. And if you haven't seen the rare plant index, by the way, if you don't know anything about Syngonium and you think, oh, okay, what is there? I will leave the link to my rare plant index below on Syngonium and you can check that out and see if there's anything you like. But there you go. I'm not going to linger too long on him because there's not much to him, bless him. But there you go. That's my Syngonium milk confetti. Mwah. Beautiful. Right, what should we do now? Okay. This boy, that's a siren. That's going to be really loud too. Okay, so this guy, I tried to work out how long I've had this guy and I, I can't. I don't know if I got this guy in maybe at the beginning of this year or late last year. I'm not honestly sure, but I've had it so long, right? And it sat in such a weird corner of the shop that every single time I've done a plant haul since I got this in, I have forgotten to pick him up, including the last haul, the haul before that and the haul before that. I've constantly forgot to pick him up. So today I thought, you know what? Now it is time. So I'm going to show you him now. He's in a he's in a pot, but he's, he's growing out of it. He has been here that long. He's very beautiful though. So this here is variegated if you can't already tell. This here I believe is, is it Philodendron Mel Meloniae? Meloniae? Oh, you know what? I can't remember. I'm just not on form today, honestly. I think it's because most of these plants in this video now, they're not things that I've had before, so they are very new to me. Um, did I Google it before? Melin Melanoniae. 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 Philodendron melanonii. Right, so I'll take you on a quick tour of the pot. He's growing his aerials out. He's obviously ready to go. And if I just turn him this way, this is one of his original leaves, by the way. He came with more original leaves, but obviously it's they've died off and, and what have you after shipping. He did have another massive one this morning here. I've cut it because it was it was even bigger than this one, to be honest. So if we just concentrate on the new ones. That'll be good enough. If I show him here, you can see how gorgeous he is. Now, the thing is, I don't really hear about people having these. And I think that may be why I forgot about him, because I don't see him pop up anywhere. The stuff I see on the internet is either a green version of him, or I think you can get like a ghost version of him. I don't know how like valid that is, because every time I look up a picture of a ghost version of him, the... The new leaves don't look that white. It just looks like lime green. So I don't know. But I don't really see variegated ones. And you can tell how long I've had this. All these leaves here with me. This is one of the leaves that it basically got shipped with. So we'll ignore that. He's just so pretty. See if I can get him up to the camera a little bit more. Like without me in the frame. How can I tilt it? There. Just so you get a good idea of what the leaves are actually like. There's a little one here that's more green there. He's a beautiful, beautiful plant though, isn't he? 
He's really nice. I think he's going to be quite gorgeous. Clearly he's a climber, hence we've got this. Let me know if you know basically anything about these, because as I say, I've had this so long, I don't remember when I got it, and he's he hasn't been neglected. Clearly he's thriving, and it's a good job he's in one of these pots, but I just don't know a ton about him. This is New Leaf, by the way, that's why it's a little bit lime green. I've mentioned this before, but when you have nearly any plant actually with yellow variegation, the variegation will come through more of a lime colour, and it will harden off to this kind of colour, so don't don't despair if that happens. Um, if your variegation comes through and it stays lime green, you probably need to bump the light and then you'll find quite easily that, oh, I've got plant on my back. Ugh, it's so sticky. You'll probably find that it will brighten up. So if you're getting yellow variegation but it's not going full yellow, bump the light. You'll be fine. Oh, he's so pretty. Look at him. Just a beautiful, beautiful plant. I'm going to put him down because he's a little bit heavy. Does he need some water? No, he's been fully watered. Honestly, that plant is just gooped. Can you see it? All over the back of my t-shirt. Oh, I should mention my t-shirt. This is uh, one of my t-shirts from my merch line. So if you like that, there is either a link in the description where you can find it or there is a link on my channel where my banner is. You can find it there. Or I think sometimes under my videos, you can see like a little carousel of merchandise. Click on one of those and it'll take you right to it. But for reference, this is a small, excuse the explorer pants. This is a size small and I've tucked it in. Anyway, on to the next plant. What have we not done? Oh, you know what it is? I'm gonna have to hold up this big guy and he, he is, he's quite big, he's quite big. Okay, so I can't really hide him out of the frame. I'm sure you can appreciate, but this is him. <laughs> So you might be thinking, oh, okay, it's obviously an anthurium. It's obviously like a bird's nesty, long leaf, you know, long boy type anthurium. And to be fair, you would be right. But there is something a little bit more special about him than you might expect. This is anthurium big bill. Yes, that is its name. So essentially, although this looks like, you know, quite a nice sizable anthurium, trust me when I say this is nothing. And I mean nothing. I will do my best to find a photograph of what this thing looks like to scale. I'll stand on this side so I can insert it properly. Um, it's, it's fucking huge, guys. These just get so massive. I saw an opportunity to get this. Look at the size of it. Oh my God. So I saw an opportunity to get this for my personal collection. Obviously, this is not something I can sell. I only have one of them, etc. You're probably going to ask me where I put it on the wall. Yes, maybe. I want to see how it does first. I need to get it fully rehabbed. It does have a huge root system, but I can already see from the color of the root system that it's been treated quite aggressively. So this might not look sexy forever. We're kind of going to have to see. But honestly, seriously. Seriously? How amazing. Now, don't get me wrong, I realize this is not for everybody. I do understand this. But I think it's definitely a collector's piece. If you've got space and the means to grow something this big, then go for it. I feel like this is more of an outdoor situation, though, because of how big it can get. Like, if you want to grow this in your house, do you? I, I am not going to stop you. You know, go big or go home. But I feel like for most people that collect this, tell me if I'm wrong, by the way, I feel like this is an outdoor situation. So I'll show him again. I literally have to move all the way back here to get him in. Look at him. Look at him. Try and show you a little bit more close up on a leaf. Just so you see what you are getting. I will have to hide myself. I don't think it wants to focus on the plant, does it? It might. It's hard to. It's, I think it's just one of these situations, guys, where I can't give you a close up. I can't even give you a head test, can I? So I have two things left to show you and they are probably, I mean, I find all the plants in this hall interesting, obviously, but I would say these are probably the more interesting plants in this hall. So I'm going to pick the first plant up out of the two I have left. And I guess I have to just explain a little bit about it without going into detail, because honestly, I plan on doing a full video on the differences between these two plants. Not only that, but generally speaking, I'm going to be doing some shorter videos at some point that come out as like an extra video on a Tuesday of just how to tell this plant from this plant, for example. So the two plants I'm going to show you today are a prime example of what I would do. So I'm not going to go into the differences on these plants. I'm just going to show you that they are different. Does that make sense? So the next plant I have to show you in my haul, I'm very proud to have because they are quite rare. I don't really think you can get your hands on these. This here, I'm going to put the other one down actually. This here is a real philodendron bicolor. Check this out. And just for the, the people among you that are in the know, I'll show you one part of the plant. Can you see? Please tell me you can see. There, can you see that? People in the know will know. You feel me? <laughs> it's a very, very nice plant. So basically, this plant has beautiful long-shaped leaves like this, and the undersides are 
not super red, don't get me wrong. It could be a temperature thing, could be a light thing. I don't know. I've just got them in. But the undersides are burgundy. It's clearly a climber. I can see that from this little, little shoot here. Very cute. And that's what he is. And you're probably thinking, cool, I've seen them everywhere. No, you haven't. I'll show you why. Because this is the plant you might have seen everywhere. And it is a bit similar. See here, undersides are still, sorry, I can't tip it up very well. <coughs> undersides are still burgundy, long thin leaves and everything else. This is philodendron. Is it rye? Ry God, I can't remember what it is. Good Lord. What is with me today? Give me one second, guys. This is embarrassing. It's embarrassing. It's philodendron ruizii. Ruizii. That's it. I got my vowels totally right. Yeah, I got the whole word totally wrong, let's just be honest. And it often gets passed for a bi colour, but it isn't. I think that issue is mainly being solved now with a lot of suppliers and a lot of sellers on the internet. They now know what it is and that it is not a bi colour. But a lot of the time it was being passed around as bi colour. Now, this has happened before. It's not necessarily people trying to scam people. I've got to say that. You know, as sellers, we get things in. You know, we buy things as a certain ID and we do our best to confirm the ID or find the real ID if that happens. It happens to me all the time because I actually bought this in as bi colour and it wasn't. But anyway, I think that you can really kind of see them next to each other anyway when I show you the two leaves like this. Right, this is not the easiest thing to do in the world, but this is the, what was it, Ry Ry Ryuzii? And this is the bicolor here. Bicolor is just a lot slimmer. It also has actually markings, not markings, but like indentations on the leaf. I don't know if you can see that in the light. Yeah, you kind of can. Little markings on there. This one isn't. This one's a little bit more spiritus-like almost in terms of a juvenile spiritus when they're just super leathery and thick. The two plants are very different. You just probably wouldn't know unless you saw them together. But these things happen, right? I will do a video on the differences between these properly. It is coming. I just need a little bit of time to basically format it and work out, you know, the intricacies of it so you can tell. But yeah, that's them. So this is a real bicolor. Um, they're just so hard to get. And I've, I've wanted one for some time. I'm not going to lie. You know me. If there's something odd, I'll, I'll have it. But yeah, I can't wait to see how they grow and how cute they are. I'll show you it a little bit closer next to my head so you get the idea. This isn't a very big one. It's very small, but it's very, very pretty, isn't it? So there you have it. Philodendron bicolor. Okay, last plant I have to show you. I'm not going to lie. This leaf is dirty as hell because it has been sprayed with pesticide and everything else. And I haven't cleaned it off, but you will see the point anyway. I can't remember. I honestly cannot remember if this went in a wish list or not. It may have, it may not have. I think I would have to basically go and watch that video and find out. If you know, then tell me down below if I talked about it or not. I may have. I don't know, but this essentially is a variegated version of a plant that I know and love. I have one at home. I think I did feature it in my common house plants video a little while ago. I love this plant. There are variegated versions of it going around. I have always wanted one. I think there is a white variegated version going around and there is a yellow variegated version going around. So I have here the yellow variegated version. And this here, I will have to just tip it up for you. This here is variegated philodendron micans and I'm very happy to have it. I don't have a lot of it as you can see being totally transparent with you. I basically have, can you see it in here? Just cover my face. Yeah, you see the node here. It's obviously growing. It's got some root. This is, this is what I have basically. Be that as it may, it's very, very cute. And I wasn't sure if I wanted to invest in one of these, but I have done on the basis that I'm so obsessed with micans anyway. It can't really fail. You know what I mean? And I think a very gay one would actually look very beautiful. Obviously, if I'd cleaned this up, it might be a little bit better than what it is now. Oh my God, can you see this, by the way? Ooh, it's a little spot. It just appeared yesterday. I think it's all the heat and the sweating. It's not very nice. I don't get spots, but that's just in the wrong ass place. So this would obviously look a lot better if I cleaned it off. <laughs> I haven't. Um, but look how cute it is. I don't want to get out of the pot. Obviously, I'm just not going to disturb this guy. He was he was way too much money for me to disturb him in this pot, put it that way. He's going to stay in here for a few days. Um, and he will just get babysat to see what his needs are. But there he is. There's not a lot to say about him because there he is. He's one leaf and I can't really disturb him. But that there is variegated micans and that is the yellow variegated version. I tend to see more of the white variegated than the yellow variegated, but I feel like that happens with literally any plant anyway. So I'm saying it and it's almost a bit redundant at this point. Like I see more variegated, you know, white monstera than I do yellow. It's yellow variegation just seems to be a bit harder to get or find or maybe it's just not desirable or whatever have you but I I'm you know me I like yellow variegation 
I think it's nice. And I think it's nice because not everyone goes for it. Therefore, when you have it in your collection, your collection stands out a little bit more. But that's him though. I find him really cute. Look at him. See if I can get a bit closer. I don't think the camera wants to focus on him, but there he is. He's very cute. It's not a ton of variegation. Gonna be honest, it's not a ton at all. Hopefully it is enough. It'd be a real shame if it wasn't, but when you buy stuff in, this is the gamble that you take, is it not? So there he is, variegated micans. I'll let you know how he does. I'm probably going to put him in a little, the choose a self-watering pot. I've got the baby one still. I'll probably do that, I think. Basically, oh, I've got one here. Basically, I'll put him in one of these and grow him out and see, see how he goes. I think that's probably the best, the best option. Variegated micans. Box ticked. <sighs> It's getting sunnier and it's getting hotter and I'm so pleased that I'm done just in time for it to get too hot. So that was this week's plant haul. Again, it felt quite chaotic. I think it's just because these plants just haven't been here long enough, bar like one plant. So they, they might get worse before they get better. So you know, it's one of those things. I think the Syngonium will be fine. The bicolor, I don't know. I think I've, I've got one more and the leaf went. It was a two leafer and one of the leaves is gone. So it's quite possible that they will show stress of that. The big bill I feel like is going to be fine because the roots look exactly the same as EG and Furium Vitari folium. So I'm expecting them to be okay. I will let you know though. Anyway, if you like this video, please leave a like down below. And if you'd like to see any more of my content, then please feel free to hit that subscribe button. Similarly, there is a little bell icon usually found on mobile. If you click that, that, then basically what it means is you get a notification every single time I upload a video so you don't miss anything. My merch will be linked either down below or there should be a carousel and I think that's it for this week's video. I shall see you guys hopefully in less heat in the next one. Thanks for watching guys, have a great weekend. Bye!